Hello, Brian here, and welcome to my channel where we talk about eye catching art and eye catching things. In this video, we're on another plane to kick off a series of travel vlogs in the Philippines and Singapore. We're gonna hit up lots of eye catching sites, do some street photography, and eat lots of delicious food. Let's go! After 30 something hours in transit, we're finally in the motherland and into the hot and humid embrace of the Manila air. Shout out to Tita Enid for meeting us at the airport. Hello po Tita! Hello Manileños! Hello Manila traffic! Hello Pasig River! Hello gigantic billboard ads! And hello wire cables! After checking in, we just ate some pizza and walked around the mall nearby, dozed off, and boom, it was 4 a.m. the next morning. Everyone is still sound asleep. Let's go make some coffee. And then, 515. We're also having garlic sky flakes and some fruits. But it's time for us now to hit up the oldest Chinatown in the world to buy some snacks and eat some delicious vegetarian food. Now here's something iconically Filipino. Check out these really cool looking jeepneys. I must say, it's really too bad that they're getting phased out. Before we go to Chinatown, we're here in Quiapo, Barangay 308 to hit up a pretty legendary place called Globe for fresh lumpia or lumpiang sariwa which is not the fried kind. It used to be a sit-in place but now it's only for takeout. As our lumpiang sariwa is ordered and being made, we wait outside and soak up the sights and sounds of the street. We hit up a Jollibee nearby and ordered some drinks so we can sit in and enjoy the lumpiang sariwa. These were crazy good with seemingly simple ingredients like lettuce, maybe carrots and bamboo shoots, onions and garlic all rolled up in a crepe-like wrapper. But the real magic is in the seasoning. It's peppery, nutty, savory, and gets even better with a slightly salty and sweet sauce. <laughs> These were straight fire! They also do other things like brownies. These were pretty good, not as sweet as brownies in North America though. I think it's steamed which keeps it moist unlike baked ones with a crust. Passing by many of these street food vendors were really tempting, but I'm with vegetarians, so I'll have to wait it out. This is the Archdiocese Shrine of the Blessed Sacrament in Barangay 303, and we're about to enter through the Arch of Goodwill and into the oldest Chinatown in the world. Established in 1594, that's 430 years ago, man. There's action everywhere, and all I wanted to do was to bust out my Canon M50 and to take pictures, but I was discouraged because this place is apparently known for snatchers. But check out this place, it's like a gritty cyberpunk anime set. Probably looks even cooler at night. We were looking for Arthur Z restaurant, an all vegetarian Chinese restaurant, and all that walking down Ong Pin sure got us hungry again. They have all the utensils in a drawer right at the table. Pretty neat, eh? It's a Turo Turo style place, so the food is dished out super fast. And check out the spread of delicious vegetarian food. Mm. The 
food was really delicious and we gobbled it down pretty quickly. And to wash it all down, we got freshly squeezed sugar cane juice. This was just pure sugar cane and no ice added. <laughs> Really good veggie lunch. I'm just gonna start taking a whole bunch of pictures. Oldest Chinatown on earth. I slightly regretted not taking photos back in Quiapo, but I couldn't contain myself any longer and just had to capture a bit of this historical place. The colors, textures, and human activity were all calling out for me to take photos. Good photos or bad photos, I'm just happy looking back at these shots and reminding me of this brief but uber enjoyable experience walking through the oldest Chinatown in the world. We picked up Dita Maribel's ukulele and bought some snacks for the long journey to Romblon. We caught a grab ride back to our hotel and I continued to snap away during the car ride. Some street photographers might scoff at this as a lazy and not a real way to do street photography, but I for one think it's a great way to capture many random moments and different environments in a short amount of time. Just before going back to our hotel, Mohana and I went around an SM mall nearby and the traditional street food in the food court was calling my name. <laughs> Just checking out more street food but nothing that big can eat so we're finally heading back to the hotel where a vegetarian dinner was waiting for us. Good morning, 6 a.m. na dito. Huh? Paalis na naman kami. Papunta mo si Romblon. Ano mo sasabi mo ba yung ganda ng buhok mo? Matching ka rin. Kape muna tayo. At syempre, classic na partner. Pandesal. Kala kayo. <laughs> Saging nasa ba? 1933. Veggie barbecue. Veggie dinuguan. Karikare. <laughs> Tsaka veggie na karikare. Sarap ko ang kuha. Maniwala na lang kayo. Yung sauce masarap sa pandesal. <laughs> May mga ano na lang yan ko. Okay. And lastly, ube na hopia. Ay, ano? Hopia na ube. Pwede rin, tama rin. Papahabol. For dessert. Hotel room, paalam. Paalam. Let's go. Konting hakbang lang, nandito na kami sa bus terminal. We're finally on the bus leaving Manila and on our way to Batangas to catch a ship bound for Romblon. There are also vendors that hop on and off during stops and they sell fruits, munchies, and drinks. 14, 15, 15.
bus is taking the South Luzon Expressway or SLEX, which is a paid toll highway and shortens the travel time by quite a bit, but it still took us about two hours to the pier. We got a pretty good view from the highway to watch the hustle and bustle of the city, but gradually the buildings get smaller and more sparse, and the billboards get fewer and farther in between, and all of a sudden, we're passing through a more green and serene place surrounded by mountains, fields, and definitely more trees. Oh yeah, thank you. This is a turon. It's sugared plantain wrapped in a spring roll wrapper and fried. Delish. And just like that, we've arrived in Batangas. It was quite a bit of a walk from where the bus dropped us off to the pier itself. And once there, we bought our tickets and rushed to the dock, towing our luggages in the blazing heat. We were arriving late, but we just made it in time. That's quite the workout, man. We had to carry all our luggage, like maybe 32, 40 kg each. And the terminal was like behind this ship. It's probably like a good kilometer and a half by those buildings over there. And we had to go walking across and carry all our luggage up the stairs. Woo, workout. Well, it's a 10 hour ride from here to the island of Romblon and I'm super excited to show you the beautiful beaches, delicious foods and all the interesting things we got to experience on the island in the next video. Thanks for watching up to this point and please be sure to give this video a quick like, share to somebody who might also enjoy it, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for the next one.